Ms. Welcome Richardson, in. you're suing your, I guess, former friend, Ms. Tommy, for $717 that you say she owes you in damage to a rental car as well as Easy Pass tickets that she received on a car that you rented on her behalf. Tell me what happened. Yes. Um, so I rented my former friend a rental car because she really needed it to get around to go and try to find um, a new personal vehicle as, lo as well as other personal things with her daughter for back and forth to school and whatever else Why she needed to do for that week. Car? I don't have a bank account. I pay everything in cash. Okay. And there was no one you could borrow a car from or would loan it to you? No. Okay. So you rented her the car and what happened? Um, so I rented her the car and then um, it was for about a week. And then when I went to... Um, well, then she went to return the vehicle because I was unavailable to meet her at the rental car place. How to are you going to return the vehicle when the vehicle's not in your name? How is that going to go down? You're just going to pretend to be her? Or? No, she was supposed to meet me at the rental place to return the vehicle. Okay. She overslept. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay, so you return the vehicle. How do you return it? You just hand them the keys and walk off? Yes. Yeah. Right. As opposed to what, though? Would you have to, like, did you hand them the keys or did you just park the car there and run? I'm not sure I, what you did. You don't really have to be, you don't really Around. have to check out with them. You just hand them. it back. All yeah. right. And then when you hand it back, um, according to you, the rental car uh, enterprise has said that it's been damaged. Yes. They started calling me maybe about an hour or two later, give or take. They've been, they started calling me, um, telling me that they inspected the vehicle upon return and it's been damaged. So they called you the same day? Yes. All right. Do you call her the same day? I did. And what happens? Um, she just kept saying, well, there was no damage. She inspected it. She went to clean the car out before she brought it back. She looked around the car. She washed so the did car. Enterprise there was nothing. Send, do you have a, a copy of the rental agreement? I don't have a copy of the rental agreement. Do you have a copy of the rental agreement? No. The rental agreement that you're suing on and you're being sued on, nobody has a copy of it? No. I mean, no. I mean, I have a copy of the damage, like all the damage receipts and stuff that they sent Do you have pictures me. of the damage? I do. I have Okay, show me pictures, me. anything you have from Enterprise regarding the damage that you're suing on. Okay. Where did you have this car? Um, where did I have it? Yeah, what'd you do with it for how long did you have it? Okay, so I needed a car. I was looking into buying my own vehicle, but I was looking at No, how long did you have it was my question. Seven days. Seven days. And where did you go with it? Uh, I went... Uh, I dropped my daughter to and from school, and I went to look at different vehicles um, in surrounding cities from where I live in Boston. Well, were you able to find a car? Yes. So it was a fruitful week. Now, although these pictures are hard to see, it is very evident that, that Enterprise is going after her for what they perceive to be the damage to the car. Um, she never had the car. But you pick it up, and then what? She t gets it when? Um... She was there with me when I picked up the car. Right, so you know that... And she that, took it from... Okay, so Enterprise. I don't know how carefully anybody looked at the car or didn't, but if you're there and this problem is arising, whose problem is it? Why would it ever be her problem? As I said, I needed a vehicle to get around and purchase my own personal vehicle. I had two friends that were willing both to rent a car for me because, as I stated prior... I don't have a bank account, and I pay everything in cash. Um, it's not that I begged Tiambe no to rent the car No one cares. That has nothing me. to do with the case. So What I'm trying to figure out is if this problem has arisen, why isn't it your problem when the rental was for your benefit and you're the only person who drove it? The reason why it's not my problem is because originally the rental was supposed to cost me only $259 for the week. I was informed that I needed to pay the two fifty nine, but that Enterprise was going to put an additional hold on her bank account for two hundred and fifty dollars. So at the beginning, I agreed to pay her five hundred and ten dollars for the rental to cover the rental to and cover the, the rental hold. and the hold. Okay. And that after I returned the rental, I would get my two hundred and fifty dollars back. Yeah, if nothing was wrong with the car. Yes. So what ends up happening is. The 259 was the cost of the car, and then they kept the 250 because of the damage? Yes, but I know for a fact that I didn't damage this vehicle. I tell her at this point, I feel as though Enterprise sees that I'm not you, and I've returned the vehicle. 